I, I feel like with Fox and Ness, when Fox gets in, he can do a lot as long as he avoids Ness and Air. Yeah, if he doesn't overextend, if he doesn't overextend, yeah. then he has a better chance. Same with like movement wise and combo wise. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. Uh, Pokemon Trader. Hey. Let's see, so Pokemon Trader, you gotta watch out for a lot of stuff. Yep. Here. A lot of changing of Pokemon. <laughs> yes, well, Squirrel, you gotta watch out combo game very early on. Ivysaur, you gotta watch out for his up B, his up air, his down air. And Pretty much everything on Ivysaur. Yeah. And Charizard, you just have to make sure you're cognizant of when he flare flips his here. There we go. Winners finals underway, go. starting on PS2. Already, you see Slam Shaddy opening in with some fares uh, to, you know, to kind of get, kind of get uh, Ducks and Tavi in the air, so that both teams can juggle. Yeah, that's already working out a little bit. Nice carry there by Slam Shaddy. So what we have here? Let's see. So the box is going to be opening up quite a bit to get the up tilts and openings, and. Yep, see right there, Duck's already, uh... He's getting in on him, he's making sure he can't... The only thing he really has against him is Nair. Yeah. Oh, that was... I, I didn't think Duck's was that was like that back. That was a deep firebox there. Oh! Great up air by, uh... Tommy. By Tommy, yeah. I forgot he was the same. So he switches to Charizard. Charizard's just here to tank damage at this point. Because you don't want to get caught by a Roy forward smash by Ness back air, by something that'll kill you relatively early as I do, sorry. Yeah. All right. There we go. Ducks getting the jabs, uh, the rapid jabs. Yep. Which, it, it's, it's good if you want to rack a percent, but it doesn't do it too much. Well, he doesn't really need to worry as much about killing with Charizard right there. Nope. But Charizard's a pretty heavy character. Uh, you know how it feels to get hit by heavies. Yes. Right now, Ducks and Tabby with the commanding lead, they've got a, about a full stock on them. Yeah, it looks like the... Uh, oh, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. yeah. Slam and Zyth are struggling to kill at this point. It looks like Tabby and Ducks have majority of the momentum, but wait a second. Woohoo! You're, you're at five stocks to two stocks at this point. Oh, a so, bunch of trading back and go. forth. Yeah. All right, so Tabby and Ducks have stock lead. Yes. Well, Tavi's racking up, or Ducks is racking up the percent here. Tavi's making sure that they're getting the kills with your Ivysaur up air, your Charizard Flare Blitz, all those fun moves. Yep. They got their spacing right, too. Oh, yeah, their spacing's been fantastic. Oh, my. Is that going to be the end of oh. Slam? That's the that end is. of Slam. Oh, what? Uh, that's up air coming from. Yep. Tommy. That'll clean it up. Very clean. Very clean game How one there. How do you think uh, Slam and Scythe can bring it back here? What do they need to do better in the next game? I think they... I don't think they should overextend with, like, how they're going in. You think they're being a little too aggressive? From what I'm seeing, yeah. Okay. If they can, I mean, e if they can ease off a little bit, maybe? I feel like Tavi and Ducks are also catching them a lot with their combos and ranking up percentage very easily. While still, well, you know, Tavi will switch to Charizard. He'll live a very long time. <laughs> you saw there, he was the last one to lose a stock. Or he held yeah. onto his first stock for a very long time there. Yeah. So, it's Slam and Zyke just need to be able to kill, too. They. I felt like they had, like, their starters, but they couldn't, like, follow up. You yeah, know what I mean? They started off relatively strong, but they got comboed very hard. Yeah. And couldn't bring it back from there. And, like, Tavi and Ducks, like, knew when Slam Shaddy and uh, Zeith were coming in. Yep. And once they did, they were just like, you can't combo us. We can combo you. Yeah. Turn the tables around. Yeah. <laughs> I thought Slam was going to go, uh, let me see there for a second. We got Zeith is going Donkey Kong this game. Oh, yeah. okay. He went Donkey Kong in one of their first sets today, too. I've seen the Zeiss Donkey Kong. I've played it in friendlies, yeah. and it is 
Donkey Kong's a good character in doubles. He can really push people out. Yeah. Have you so seen KPE? On... Yes. Yeah. We're we're on the Lilap counterfeit for game two here. Uh, interesting, actually. I let's see. Not many people seem to be pick Lilat in this game. They don't like how the and you can see Slam with his PK fire right there. It messes a lot with your projectiles. Oh right, because there's not much. It's because of the angles on the stage there. So let's see. Tommy and Doug starting out strong. Slam and Zyth are still pretty strong here. Oh, that was a good. That was a good. Uh, almost punished there from Ducks. He did like a reaction to uh, up smash. Ducks is dead. But Ducks he got is killed dead. by Ness back here. Solid down air there by, uh, by Tavi. The slam shot? Yeah, okay. Slam shot making it back. Yeah, the ledges on this stage are also a little more difficult as well. It looks like Red Team's picking up a little bit. Red, Red Team's hanging in there this game a lot better than they were last game. Last game they just got throttled. Alright, Slam Shaddy well, offstage I'd there. like to say, Ducks uh, and Tabby, they make a great team as well. I agree. I agree, they really do. Oof. Good shielding there by Red Team. Both teams just kind of playing each other out here, I guess. So, Tabby with the... No one has the Squirtle. Green team oh, he's with a minimal lead here. It still could go either way. Oh my, the, the PK fire. I think Slam did that to uh, like help out uh, Zyth a little bit. Yeah, I, I could imagine that's why the PK fire came out. Yeah. Drew an up air coming from Tavi. Black Tavi just killed Ducks. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that happens. Jeez, that was an explosion right there. That was a great up smash by Tavi right there, killing. Woo Dude, Zai's trying to go for the interception. I, I agree. Yes. Okay, Ducks' shield is getting really, really low. Yes. What we have here is a. It's rather even, actually. Slam getting greedy going out for the down air, looking to spike. Good, good team work there from uh, Ducks and Tavi. Uh, Ducks came in with a side B to interrupt uh, Zyth throwing off the Tommy yeah. off the stage. This this, uh, this match is going to be decided by whoever takes the next stock here. Because you have both uh, both Tavi and Slam at very low percents, and both Ducks and Zyth getting high up there. So they're both at the, they're all at the ledge! That's a scary position to be in. You got Charizard out here, you got. <laughs> We're down to everyone's last stocks here. Uh oh. Both of. Red oh, Team man. is very cognizant of the Flare Blitz, as you can see them being in shield a lot here. A clap is gonna do the stack. The clap on the Switch manages to take the game for them. We're going one and one right here. Red Team really brought it back that time, especially with the DK. They were able to kill a lot more consistently than Game 1. Mm -hmm. And I felt like they were doing a good job keeping their composure, too, around yes. uh, around Tavi and Ducks. Mm -hmm. Tavi and Ducks are still playing great. It's just yeah. Slam and Scythe weren't getting comboed nearly as much as they were in Game 1. So where's the counter pick going to be this time? <laughs> Big battlefield. <really. laughs> Big battlefield hey. is not legal. We're going back to PS2. Oh, I was gonna, I was gonna ask like, <laughs> why did Big, why was Big Battlefield a thing? Pokemon. Big Battlefield, but that's just what Nintendo put in there for your eight-player matches. Big Battlefield is very big. So we're going back PS2. We're going to slightly bigger stage than Lilat here. Yeah. Um, Tavi and Ducks looking to bring it back to what they did in game one here. Slam and Zyth looking to hold on to whatever momentum they can. Alright, PS2. So let's see if the DK can still work out for Zyth right here. If it worked in uh, game two, hey, it could work in game three. It gives them a very uh, good way to kill as well. DK kills with everything, really. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, as, I, as you said that, like, Zyth is getting all these clubs. The super punch? He broke Slam's shield, though. But he got ducks with it. Yeah. 
That's the thing about teams is like, hey, that's a trade you'll take every day of the week. That's the thing about teams is you can, uh, you know, you got someone there to help you out in case it's like your shield breaks or whatever. Yeah. Or you can just. Oh, Zyth's just really going out there. And it gets dunked. Yeah, it's Ivy Sword Dare. It'll do it every time, man. It's a good attack. We got the Charizard coming out. He's too low to get back up. All right, ducks with the up tilts, but Slam Shady with the the dash attack to intercept. I think it's a fair. Slam Shady with the fair there. DK Thunder. He's playing very well oh. right now. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> yeah, that that really hurts. Ooh, we tech those. Yeah, we tech those. But, yeah, the off stage for it through there. No, that's a down throw. Oh, down throw? I'm yep, sorry. Argo down throw. Well, he went forward. It's, that's why I was confused. Yeah. Well, DK, what you'll see with DKs is when they cargo throw someone, they'll either try and stage spike them with the cargo throw back throw, or they'll go ne as far, as close to the blast zone as they can and go for the down throw just for the kill. My duck's doing a good job with these up tilts here. And uh, a slam, sh slam shady going for the sign magnet, get some health back. Dude. Uh, Zyth is at really high percent here. He's on his second oh, yeah. stock. And he's still living. Slam Shady's still on his second stock as well. Not exactly even though, but uh, both teams are doing pretty good. I wow! Mean, still go either way at this point, as you can see there. They were both very high percent percentages. And what Red Team is going to need to do is they're going to need to take a stock off someone. Up Slam Shady with a PK flash. Getting greedy. Oh, oh, wow, that shield is getting really small from Ducks. But he gets the up tilt. The up tilts especially work well on heavies, right? They do. As a Fox player, you know, coming from a Fox player. And it, you, usually, I thought they were pretty terrible, but they're not. So, uh, Ducks take, taking off uh, Tommy's stock there, or borrowing that stock. Yep. So, oh. Red Team's win condition here is they need to kill Tavi as soon as possible. Whereas Green Team needs to just take one of the two stocks that Red Team has. Because both of them are at kill percent at this point. Yep, there you go. And, that and there's the game. Wow. That could have gone either way several times during that game. Yeah. Yeah. And Tavi, did you see the little little mini pop-off from Tavi and Ducks. <laughs> yeah, I saw it. Look, dude, hey man, I give it to him. That was a very intense game. That was. It, it was like back and forth, back and forth. Absolutely. It was a lot, a lot of trading too. A lot of trading that happened in that one. So we're staying we same characters. Game, game four now. Game four. Yeah, I, Tavi and Ducks up two one. I wonder if they went to a much larger stage without any platforms. I mean, I mean, I can't. Here we go. We're oh, they back go back to, to Lilai. Okay, so this did work out for uh, Sam Shady and Zayat. So I yeah. agree with this pick uh, going back because, as we saw in game, what was it? Game three. That was game two. Okay, oh, game, game two. Game two. Slam Shady and Zayat had mo majority of momentum on this stage, but now, now this is looking like almost a complete turnaround here. Ducks with a forward smash to take out Zyth's stock. Yeah, well, Slam and Zyth uh, got caught in Fox's up tilt very early on, so they unfortunately... You can... Uh, oh, sorry, go ahead. They unfortunately uh, got a lot of percentage racked up on them very early, so now they need to go for the greedy options here to try and get back in the lead, while Ducks and Tabby just need to do what they've been doing. Slam J opening up with some. Uh, going for some PK Thunder too. We got. Yep, PK Fire right there. That's going to help him out a lot, but Ducks, really great idea. They're doing the rapid jab. Yep, to, uh, Tabby right there with the back air getting the kill. Oh Second my! <laughs> Whoa! Charizard's really securing the kills right now. Tommy, what are you doing? That's Ducks and Tabby oh. have a very commanding lead, and although. <laughs> Zyth with the cargo back throw into the stage. And that's all she wrote for Ducks. Yeah. Well, that's the thing, too, is you don't know what he's going for with the Oh, my <laughs> God! With what the, the spike. 
That was nutty. Oh, and... What is going on? Okay, Slam's got to take four stocks by himself now. <laughs> nah, this is, this is going to be crazy. No, that's... Oh, Duck's trying to do the full charge. Duck smash read. So we have here is just fire. Ducks and Tavir just looking to close out this set. Yeah. And you'll see a uh, good setup there by Slam Shaddy. Yep. That's something to say the PK fire does help a lot because uh, it, it can be hard to mash out or like get out of PK fire. Well, you DI up in a way generally with PK fire. No, he's just got an air dot. That nope, up air is going to take that. Yep. Tavia Ducks going on to grand Tavia finals. Ducks, very solid play there. From winner side. Yes. Oh, absolutely. Okay. That was well, that was a set.